ever faced an unexpected bill from your cable provider just because you wanted to switch to another service? If so, you've encountered an early termination fee. Today, with the rise of streaming platforms, more people are choosing to ditch traditional cable. But these early termination fees, or ETFs, pose a significant hurdle. ETFs are penalties imposed by cable companies on customers who decide to cancel their contracts before the agreed-upon term ends. These penalties can range into hundreds of dollars and are designed to discourage customers from switching to a different provider. The practice of charging ETFs has sparked a heated debate. While cable providers claim that these fees are necessary to cover the costs of providing equipment and services, critics argue that ETFs are a deterrent that unfairly restricts customers from seeking better service elsewhere. These fees can be a major roadblock for those wanting to cut the cord and switch to more flexible, often cheaper, streaming services. So, what exactly are these early termination fees? Well, think of ETFs as a leash that cable companies use to keep their customers tied to them. When you sign a contract with a cable company, you're agreeing to stick with them for a set period of time. If you decide to break that contract early, you're hit with an ETF. From the cable company's perspective, ETFs are a way to recoup losses. After all, they've invested in equipment and services for you, and if you leave early, they're left in the lurch. But critics view it differently. They see ETFs as a shackle an anti-competitive tactic that discourages customers from seeking better deals or services. In essence, ETFs bind you to your cable provider, limiting your freedom to choose. They're a financial barrier that keeps you from finding the best provider for your needs. And that's precisely why they're under scrutiny. President Biden, however, is taking a stand against these fees. In a bold move aimed at protecting consumers, Biden has proposed a ban on early termination fees. This proposed ban is not just a hit against cable companies, but a big win for consumers. It would mean saying goodbye to the hefty penalties that come with switching providers before your contract ends. But this is not all. Biden's administration is also looking into other ways to lower the cost of broadband and streaming services. Increasing competition in the broadband market and providing subsidies to low-income households are just a few of the measures being considered. These actions could transform the market, making it more consumer-friendly and less monopolistic. This proposed ban could be a game-changer giving consumers the freedom to switch providers without financial penalties. It's a significant step towards a more competitive and fair market, where the power lies not with the provider, but with you, the consumer. What does this mean for you as a consumer? Well, banning ETFs could bring about a revolution in consumer freedom and choice. Imagine no longer being tethered to your cable provider because of an early termination fee. Firstly, you would save money. No more hefty fees draining your pocket when you decide to switch providers. This alone could save consumers hundreds of dollars, money that could be better spent elsewhere. Secondly, this would open up a world of choice. Without the fear of ETFs, consumers could freely explore and choose the cable or streaming service that best suits their needs, without the financial burden of switching. Lastly, banning ETFs would stimulate competition among providers. Stripped of the safety net of ETFs, cable companies would be compelled to improve their services and lower their prices to retain their customer base. In essence, banning ETFs means no more shackles of hefty fees, just the freedom to choose what's best for you. But for this change to happen, we need your help. We live in a society where your voice truly matters, where your actions can bring about meaningful change. This is one of those moments, a moment where we can collectively take a stand against unfair practices and champion for a fair and competitive market. It starts with you reaching out to your representatives and senators. Express your support for the ban on early termination fees. These conversations, your conversations, can help influence the decision-making process. They can highlight the importance of consumer freedom in the cable and streaming market. And remember, this is not just about today. It's about shaping a future where consumers are not penalized for seeking better services. Together, we can ensure a fair and competitive market for cable and streaming services.